Hello and welcome to the user's tutorial for Riskier's EMFI Transient Probe. In this video, we will show you how to use the EM probe along with its miscellaneous accessories, and we'll give you some tips to implement in your setups. Inside the box, you will find the EMFI Transient Probe, a quick start guide, a bracket with two adjustable screws for the probe, a set of flat head probe tips of different colors and diameters, a power supply unit of 24 volts, two SNB to SNB signal cables, and one SMB to BNC signal cable, in case you want to connect the probe to an oscilloscope. The first thing you need to do is to assemble the bracket to the back of the transient probe. That way, you'll be able to place the probe to the probe station. After you've assembled the bracket, place the tip of your choice to the bottom of the transient probe. The colors red and black only indicate the coil winding direction, so you need to use both of them and then compare the perturbation results to see which one is best for you. The appropriate diameter of the flathead tip depends on the encapsulation and the depth of the metal layer of your chip target. Let's see that in practice. To begin with, Place the transient probe to the probe clamp and screw the clamp locks to tighten the probe. Remember, the transient probe is quite large and it may reach lower than the target in height. In that case, you may need to first place the probe clamp of the station in a higher spot using inspector or place the bracket lower in the probe. Then connect the two inputs pulse amplitude and digital glitch of the transient probe to the external device which produces the perturbation. To do that, use the two SNB to SNB signal cables. Don't forget to power the transient probe by using the power unit of 24 volts. Finally, you need to place the transient probe to the correct spot. To do that, move the probe with precision in three dimensions using inspector. Be careful, you need to place the probe tip as close as possible to the chip surface without touching it. Do not apply any pushing, sideways, or grinding force to the probe tip. Good luck with your setup! 